So welcome back. So now I want to try and do some logic in my program. I want to ask if the name starts with an L. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the building things in the string um, reference type or the string object. What's, that's actually what the reference type is behind the scenes. I'm going to try and use what we call a boolean value, which is either true or false, probably already know that, a uh, name contains L equals, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on the name uh, variable, I'm going to, uh, if you can see here, there's a lot of different methods I can use that are predefined in the string uh, reference type or object. Uh, what I can do is actually I can ask if it contains something specifically. So here we are starting to use a method inside the string uh, reference type. And what I want to do is I want to check if that actually contains an L somewhere in there. Um, and that's kind of the goal of it. So if it does, it'll actually put out true, and if it doesn't, it'll put out false. Let's try and add this as a text uh, inside our code here, so we can actually try to print out if it did contain an L or it didn't contain an L uh, inside the code. Right now my program is freezing, there we go. So let's do a console, right line. I know a lot of this uh, might seem basic for a lot of you, but I just want you guys to get your hands on writing c -sharp code before we really start doing the crazy stuff contains uh, L and then we want to just do the name contains here there we go so we're just pasting out the boolean value in the end here let me try and zoom out a little bit again rich and let's try and run this and see what happens it should go back to the same um, application that we've seen every every time now and uh, hopefully it will it will ask me to type my name again there we go and I'll write Lars like this I'll press enter Contains L equals true. Okay, let's try and shut it down and do it one more time. Again, I know this is basic, but this is just one of the types that you're gonna use a lot. So I just want to make sure you guys know it. I'll write uh, Braf, which is a weird name, and that's a false because it doesn't contain an L right here. Okay, so let's uh, end this. Now you guys know about the Boolean value, and you know what? I could just put in var here instead if I wanted to. The var value will now know that this is a Boolean value, so there you go. That's already the first time we can start using var instead of uh, the built-in variable na names. So see you next time where we'll build more on this. Have fun.